babysitter. Sometimes my mum and dad used to go out. This meant that my brother had to babysit me. He hated it because I just wouldn't go to bed when he told me to. He was four years older than me. Well, actually, he, he still is. He'd shout, he'd rant and rave, Will you go to bed? But I never went until I heard the front door open with mum and dad coming back and then I'd be upstairs into bed in a flash. Anyway, after a few months of this, my mum and dad tried something new. Just before they went out, they said, Right, Mick, you go to bed before we go out and you stay there. The I said, OK, yeah, OK. And off I went to bed. I lay there waiting to hear the front door close. Slam. And straight away, I was out the bed, down the stairs, into my brother's room. There he is, sitting there, reading. First of all, he tries, I'm not taking any notice of Michael. He goes on reading. I think I'll make him notice. I put my face behind the book with my eye peeping round the edge of the book. Every time he gets to the end of a line, his eye looks into my eye. He tries to pretend I'm not there, it's no good, he can't, my eye is peeping away like mad round the edge of the book, he starts to laugh, look, <laughs> look, he says, look, this isn't fair, you promised you'd stay in bed, I'll tell him, I'll tell him, I will. So now I go and stand by the door and I fiddle, I make little rattly noises with the handle and the key, fiddle diddle, riddle diddle. He tries to pretend I'm not there. It's no good, he can't. I'm rattling away like mad with the handle and the key. He starts to laugh. All right, he says, all right, that's it. He sounds like he's going to really do for me. So now he tries. I'm going to be so boring. Michael will get so fed up. He'll go back to bed. He starts up a chant. Go to bed, 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 go to bed. He says, stop, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. He goes on for ages. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. I try to talk to him. Hey, what do you want for your birthday, Brian? Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Do you want a sweet? Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Hey, you got a pimple on the end of your nose, you know, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. And I'm still fiddling with the door. I lock it. I unlock it. I lock it. I try to unlock it. Go to bed, go to bed, go. Ah, Brian. I can't unlock me. Yeah, the door. Go to bed, go to bed. Brian, um, uh, the key's stuck. He stops. Suddenly he looks pleased and he settles down with his book and waits. Meanwhile, I've got big bother. They're going to come back and find me here and I've got out of bed and I've come in his room and I've locked the door and it's really late and it's all my fault. I try and I try and I get that key to work. Fiddle, riddle, diddle, diddle, fiddle, riddle, diddle, diddle. For three hours I'm at it and all the time my brother is not taking any notice of Michael. The front door opens. Hello, my mum calls out. She gets to my brother's door. Did Michael stay in bed all right? She's trying to turn the handle. Let us in, Brian, says my dad cheerily. No answer from us inside. My brother is waiting for me to say something. I'm hoping he'll say something. We're looking at each other. Come on, Brian, says my dad, getting a bit cross. Oh, no, the moment I dread when dad goes from being cheery to absolutely furious. In a weedy little voice, I say, I lock the door. That really winds them up. There's my mum. Is that you, Michael? You're still up. You promised you'd stay in bed. It isn't fair on Brian. And there's my dad, and he's roaring. Won't you believe it, the little cake? And the door's jammed. I'll have to break it down. God, when I get inside, oh, he's going to be in for big trouble. And me, I'm standing there all shaky and sorry and shuddery. But my brother, what's he doing? He's smiling all over his big face. Yeah, he took the key out passed it under the door and they opened it and I dashed out off to bed faster than an electronic rabbit.